Hi, beloved. In the Lord, my name is A. Melody. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lady. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. Too many mistakes in the air. The, the Lord is saying that, please, it's time to be guided more by signs. There are too many mistakes in the air right now. Too many financial mistakes. Too many um, decisions that are not right right now that people will take. It, please, you need to be very, very vigilant this season. You need to be very, you need to be extremely vigilant this season. The Lord is saying that it's time to be guided more by signs. God is revealing signs to us every minute, every second. But a lot of people have ignored signs. And they've gone ahead and made several mistakes. Some, somebody made the first mistake, the second mistake, the third mistake, yet they have not still learned their lessons. The Lord that he showed somebody signs when, when it comes to a decision making, to financial decisions, to uh, family decisions, to business decisions, career decisions. God revealed signs to somebody. Is it to you? But the signs were underestimated. Those signs were ignored. And somebody has ha had gotten themselves into serious situations right now because they ignore signs. There were signs, glary signs, but those signs were ignored. So God is calling on your attention this moment that if you've been thinking of making decisions this season, God has been revealing signs to you. Yes, your discernment is up there, but what are the signs that God has been revealing to you regarding a particular thing? That you are connected to all that you are about to do. What are the signs that God has been revealing to you when it comes to some people in your life? What are the signs that God has been revealing to you when it comes to you going somewhere? What are the signs that God has been revealing to you when it comes in the area of you, you know, making bold moves in certain situations? The Lord is going to tell us some of these moments that. He requires you to follow the signs that he's, he's you know, revealing to you when, so that you will not go ahead to make more mistakes. Some of you are in, mis in, in, a, in a mess right now that you can't even come out of it because, because of poor, um, um, poor choices, poor decisions. But from hence, please start obeying signs. Start obeying signs. Start looking at signs. Stop being all in your head. Some of you were just thinking in your head. And you said, oh, okay. You, you, it's like it's how you feel. Or like something. But the Lord said that he has been showing you signs. You're kind of some things that were right. But you still went ahead. And connected yourself to those things. He revealed some signs to you. Because some people that are not good. You still went ahead and associated yourself with them. He revealed some signs regarding your finances, but he still went ahead and invested in wrongly. My God, the Lord is saying that please pay attention to signs. He's revealing signs to you, but you've been ignoring signs. What's going to set you free this season are signs. Mark 16 verse 17, it says, And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak in, in new tongues. Listen, it, this doesn't just necessarily mean that, okay, you're going to be in, perform miracles, you're going to be performing signs and wonders. He's talking about signs in all aspects. Believe that God has God is giving you signs. Believe that the signs that God revealed to you are real. And if you believe these signs, these signs are going to be working for you. What has God revealed to you? And it didn't mean anything. When God says these signs shall follow them, that those who that come to those who believe, it doesn't just necessarily mean all about healing signs, you know, miracles and, and everything, you know, 
But it's 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 global. It's you believing that God has used something to direct you. God has God has used just anything to speak to you, to guide you. And as you believe this thing, you will not go wrong. Someone is messed this moment because they ignore signs. I pray this moment that you shall not ignore signs. We shall follow signs and be well guided in the name of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. It's not that the Holy Spirit cannot speak to you, but right now in the spirit, beloved, the man, the man in which the enemy had polluted the spirit realm this moment, their guidance are so faulty. Their guidance in the, in the lives of humanity is becoming really, really so bad. So you have to be more discerning to pick the voice of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is not emphasizing. It doesn't really push things. It doesn't force things. But the enemy will come and show you everything beautiful, everything nice, and force you and force you, stress you up, bring depression in your life and everything, but you are still there. Please. You have to follow the voice of the Holy Spirit. Also, if God is revealing some signs to you, when it comes to you, the way man, I wish you feel, the manner I wish you feel, the manner I wish you look at things, God has revealed some signs. Look, the Lord, but all and all, I don't know how you are, you you interpret your signs, but the Lord is saying that this moment, God says this at this time, please follow signs. He's been speaking to you. Let His Word guide you always. Humanity has got to start, you know, interpreting signs. Humanity has got to start believing in signs. I don't know how you're taking this. Don't come at me, but this is the word of God to somebody. You made mistakes because you ignore signs. You are someone, some, someone, someone is in a very serious situation right now. Serious financial situation, serious relationship situation, serious relocation. What, so many mistakes are in the air this moment. The loss is because you ignore signs. If you had followed those signs, you will not make those mistakes. God bless you. I have been Amy Lizzie. Faith is our vehicle of our strength. See you in the next video.